Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach Shannon Smith. Shannon, welcome back. How are you today? I'm doing well, Stephen. How are you today? Good. Uh, another good week for your team. Another road win, another ranked win. 10-9 uh, victory over Towson. Give us uh, your overall thoughts on the, uh, the weekend in Hofstra uh, women's lacrosse. Obviously a really huge win um, over a conference opponent, a ranked opponent in Towson, who's a very good lacrosse team. I thought our team had a really great mindset. It was a back and forth game. Um, and, and there was points where we were down by quite a few goals. And, you know, I thought we fought extremely hard. Our team played really, really well. Um, and it was a really great mindset that we had. We, we fought together as a team um, from, from start to finish. Yeah, you just mentioned that your team fought back. So you fought back four to one deficit. 5 to 2 deficit, a 7 to 5 deficit and a 9 to 8 deficit. What allowed your team each time to be able to fight through those you know the adversity? Great leadership and, and an overall just team mindset. Uh, something that we discussed after our Drexel game and, and just changing things and changing the mindset. And I think that our leaders stepped up, our team overall stepped up and, and collectively as a group, um, we wanted to make sure we were leaving Towson with a with a big win. And, and that you did uh, on the shoulders of Alexa Matera, the CA Player of the Week. Uh, five goals, one off her career high. What allowed her to be so successful on Sunday? It was huge. Um, she was successful because she was dodging hard and taking shots. It was something that we've been talking to Alexa about. And, um, you know, we want her to take a lot of shots. And, you know, she's a really great shooter. We need her to shoot in order to score. Um, she was dodging really hard and she just got into the zone. And, and when you, you can see it in Alexa's eyes when she's in the zone and, and she was in and on the offensive side of the field, the defense um, and in the clearing and riding game. So for us, um, if you know, it's huge that Alexa's hitting the stride now here towards the end of our season because we're going to continue to need big play from Alexa. And we're really happy that um, she found her groove. And speaking of another player that's hitting their groove, uh, Shannon Boyle has probably been your unsung hero all season, uh, really dominating on the defensive end. What can you say about her, particularly in the Towson game, and then overall what she's kind of done over the last few months? Yeah, I think Shannon's the best player and the the best defender in the in, in our conference. Um, she's unbelievable. She gets a lot of knockdowns. She covers the opposing team's top markups. Um, and in our zone, she gets knockdowns, ground balls, really communicates well, um, clears the ball well. And, and, you know, she's just been super consistent for us every game. You can always rely on, on Shannon coming up, um, bringing that bringing that edge, bringing that competitive advantage. Um, and she's been really great for us. So really excited for Shannon. Um, she's been playing great and we're going to need Shannon to continue to play great for us. She's been stepping up on the draw circle as well. Um, she's scrappy, she's fast, um, and she's athletic and she has a really great mindset. And, uh, defensively also, uh, Jess Smith had a real solid, uh, game in net eight saves, some point blank, uh, I believe one or two on a free position, uh, she really keyed that defensive effort, didn't she? She did. Um, she came up with some big saves for us um, in, in crucial moments. And I think our defense as a whole had some big stops in some crucial moments for us. Um, they do a really great job at stepping up in those moments. Um, and Jess has been playing really well these past three games. So um, it's been an adjustment that we've made with her um, working in practices, the extra work. And I think it's really paying off. And you can see her her level of play have, has really elevated. Um, and, you know, for us, we've been preaching it all year. It's really important that we continue to hit our stride here towards the end of season and it's really nice to collectively see our team doing that and, and individual players stepping up as well and an individual player that played a role late in the game Alyssa Prella obviously stymied all day being face guarded how does a player of that level who's being you know face guarded the entire game how does she break away and just finally make a difference yeah, you know, for first, you know, Alyssa is the best player in the in the conference. Every team is either face guarding her, doubling her, sending three or four slides to her. And um, I think Alyssa's experience, she has faced a lot throughout her five years in college. Um, and she just has been able to remain calm and, and composed. Um, and, you know, we, we were able to get her the ball at the end of the game there. Um, and she stepped up big for us with, with a dodge. But I think she's been in those moments before. She's made those shots before. Um, so I think she She's been doing really well um, and she's taking advantage of the opportunities that she does get in the game in the games. Yes, yeah, Shannon. She's now top 20 all time in uh, NCAA history in goals and points and uh, in goals. Just so you know, she's approaching somebody, you know, well yourself. So uh, just just an FYI. 
Uh, but uh, we'll we'll see when that time comes. We, uh, uh, Shannon, you uh, your opponent this weekend might be semi familiar to your team. Uh, have you ever in your life experienced back to back games against the same opponent? I think I asked this last week. Uh, yeah. Um, honestly, probably no, not like this in, in, in season. Uh, so, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Um, but we're definitely going about it the same week, the same way of, of game prep and preparing this week as we would any other week. Um, and making sure we making, we're making the proper adjustments and learning from our first game, um, so that we're prepared, um, for a big game that we have on, on Saturday against Towson. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to ask you in regards to the, your opponent this week since you just played them. But I guess, does the familiarity for both teams help both teams in a game like this? I think it does. Um, it also makes it scary at the same time because what adjustments is Towson going to make? What adjustments is Hofstra going to make um, from things that you learned when we were playing? So I think, um, you know, it, gives, it helps the players being able to understand player personnel. Um, but I also think that we just have to be prepared for everything um, going into this game on Saturday. Well, Shannon, for the second straight week, I wish you good luck against Towson. And uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Stephen. And thank you, Hofstra fans, for joining us on this week's edition of the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach, Shannon Smith.